So let's start out in easy seated. And when we when you get here, really check in with your um, with your hips. Make sure that you can really find your center. And if you'd like, I mean, wherever your hands feel comfortable right now, but just kind of move up gently as you're breathing, find your breath from your sits bones into your lower abdomen. Just some awareness. Move up into your torso, through your belly, into your chest. When you breathe, inhale so that you feel it all the way down through your ribs. I think someone's trying to join us. And as you move up from your ribs and your chest, keep that awareness of your breathing. Straighten up your back and your spine. Remember to breathe. We're just gonna sit here for just a minute Close your eyes. We moved up. Try and focus your attention to that space in between your eyes on your eyebrows. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears when you breathe. So today I've got a practice for our third eye chakra. So we're gonna be on the ground a lot, but we're gonna also have our foreheads to the ground a lot and the space on our foreheads here. So with your eyes closed in that space, think about the color blue, the ocean, And be aware of what you actually allow yourself to see. Now your next exhale, open your eyes. Slowly bring your hands down to the mat. We're just going to extend our legs out in front of us. We're going to go into caterpillar or forward fold. So before we do that, once you have your legs extended, make sure your heels are touching the ground. Move up through your legs. Make sure your sits bones are both on the ground. Raise your arms up overhead. Inhale. And on your exhale, that's when we want to lean over. Wherever feels good. This is not just a stretch for our hamstrings and our legs, it's for our spine to elongate. So on your next exhale, just like when we fold it over, try and just go down a little bit further, wherever you are. If your hands can touch your toes, great. And if not, you can be on the ground wherever you can go. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Remember to breathe. And if your mind starts to wander at any time today, try to bring your awareness back to that area on your forehead and 
Think about that color blue or the ocean. You know your edge, you know where you can go. Don't push yourself. And stay here for two more deep breaths. When you inhale, slowly look up. Walk your hands back toward your knees. Back up. Bring your left leg in to your torso. So your heel's gonna be close to your torso. I have an injury on my knee. So be really careful about bending it. That looks wonky. And bring your right leg out if you can wherever feels good. But the most important thing is while we're here, if one hip is raised, grab your blanket and you want to just whatever parts raised, stick it there so that you have that rounding and you're not lopsided in a stretch. So once we're here, we're gonna go to forehead to knee pose. So you want to ground down with your sits bones Lean that pelvis forward ever so slightly. Bring your arms up. Turn towards this foot and lean down. In this stretch, you want to feel it on this left side. Be mindful of your shoulders. And if this is too much on you, <coughs> bring your hands down beside your knee and then stretch. Or if you can't reach your toes, you'll get there. Be mindful of your hips to the floor and make sure that they're both on the floor. And if you can, flex that left foot that's close to your torso. Remember to breathe. On every inhale, really try and breathe into your back into this area that we're stretching. This is right where our lumbar and thoracic spine meet. And this is also a gentle, gentle twist. Relax your shoulders away from your ears on your inhale. Two more deep breaths. And after that second exhale, bring your hands down beside your knee and slowly walk them back towards your torso and lift up gently, vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. And then once you're ready, we're going to switch. Slowly bring that left leg that we were just bending, slowly bring that out. You're gonna bring your right foot in towards your torso. Check in with your hips. Make sure that they're both level on the ground. And same thing on the other side. Bring arms up overhead. Inhale. On your exhale, 
Gently lean down. Try and keep that right foot flexed. Check in with your shoulders. Remember to breathe. One side might be a little bit tighter than the other side. And with your breath, try and breathe into that area that might feel a little bit sore. If anything hurts, stop. You can always return to child's pose. It looks really good, Mary. Three more deep breaths. After that third exhale, release your foot, your toes, slowly walk your hands back to your torso. Slowly lift your spine and your head. Bring your leg back in. And we are going to come into wide leg tadpole, child's pose. So your own pace, you want your big toes to kiss and Normal child's pose, your legs are a little bit further in. Try and bring them out to either side of your mat, if you can, wherever you can. And then, so we're here. I'm going to try and sink those hips down to your heels. And before we rest our heads down, I really want you to open your eyes and then place your forehead to the mat. Wherever your arms are, is fine. Whatever feels good. And while we're here, try again to think of that ocean, that blue. In your next breath, if you'd like to bring your hands in front of you for a deeper stretch under your arms. Two more deep breaths. And on that second exhale, we're still going to stay in this position that we are with our 
heads to the ground. I want to bring your knees a little bit closer in. Keep your forehead down. Bring your hands so that they're on either side of you with palms up. And we're gonna come into rabbit pose from here. So what we need to do is almost like we're doing a somersault. We're just gonna come up with our hips and then we're going to roll ever so slightly onto the crown of our head. So we're just bringing up our hips just enough so that we're able to gently roll onto that crown. Even in this pose, be mindful about your shoulders, that they're away from your ears. They're not hugging them. Really engage your glutes. So hold your body up. Stay here just for a few more breaths. Relax your shoulders, remember to breathe. After your next exhale, slowly sink your hips back down to your heels and bring your forehead back to the mat. After your next exhale, bring your hands forward. Slowly raise your hips. Lift your toes under in the down dog. You can pedal your dog, be still, whatever feels good. Find your breath here. And on your next exhale, Walk your feet towards your hands. And we're going to come into forward fold. Rad doll. You can hold on to your elbows. You do just let that weight gently pull you down. And with every exhale while we're here, See if you can't let your head drop just a little bit lower than you were the breath before. Check in with your feet while we're here. You may want to lift your toes. Find that balance. Make sure that you're on all four points of those feet. Relax your shoulders. You can also bring your hands under your feet so that your toes meet your wrists. This is gorilla pose. One more breath.
slowly bring your hands right in front of your feet, wherever they fall with the spine, but you want the alignment of your fingers straight in front of your toes. Now, we're going to walk our, the balls of our feet out. Still holding on here. And then slowly dropping our hips, slowly into Malasana squat. When you're here, check in with your body. You can bring your feet out a little bit and see if you can challenge yourself. Check in with your arms. Make sure that your elbows are not on your knees. You want your tricep or this fleshy part here to be on the inside of your leg right here. It pushes just a little bit. Use the resistance also that you can create with your hands being together, these elbows pushing out. Close your eyes, find your balance. Two more breaths here. On that second exhale, drop your hands down. Give yourself some balance. We're gonna come down on our bottoms. We're gonna do Cow face with shoelace legs. So to start out, let's put our sorry, right leg, left leg, sorry, as close as you can get it to your hips. You want your heel, sorry, your heel as close as you can get it to your hips, but you don't want to raise up your hip to get it there, if that makes sense. Same with the right leg. And if you can, Try and find some symmetry between these feet, and then you'll find the symmetry in your knees. So once you're here, you should feel that deep stretch in your hamstrings and your hip flexors. Before we do our arms, check in with those hips and your sacrum and your spine. Bring your hands up above your head we're going to come to cow face pose. So we're going to drop this left arm behind us. Have our right arm behind our head. And I can't grasp on this side. So wherever you can touch in the center of your back, close your eyes. Don't focus so much on your hands and your arms, but focus more on your hips. And breathe. On our next exhale, we're going to release our arms, bring them out to the sides. We're just going to do some circles before we uncross our legs. Go forward three times, and then back three times. Okay, now slowly uncross this right leg left, and we're going to bring the right on the bottom 
the same thing, try and get as close as you can with your heel to, without raising your hip. And then bring your left leg over on top. Check in with your hips. And lower back. Raise your arms. And this time we're going to have our left arm on top and then right hand meets in the back. Close your eyes. Focus on your hips and your feet. Ground down. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Two more deep breaths here. Slowly release your hands and bring them out to the side and do circles towards the front, circles towards the back. Slowly release that left leg, the right leg. We're going to bring our feet together for the cobbler's pose. So check in with your hips once you bring your feet together. And if you can, lift your toes up so that your heels are still on the ground. And if you can rock back, that's where we want to be. So you can feel that. We're just going to hang out here. If you feel any stress on your ankles, drop your feet down to the ground. Make sure that both of those hip bones or sits bones are ground down in the ground onto your mat. Try and bring your knees down. Slowly. From here, we're going to lean over our feet so that our hands are still holding our toes and our elbows reach the floor. And if you can, try and bring that forehead towards your toes. Relax those legs and hips. Try and keep your elbows to the floor. your shoulders. Remember to breathe. Two more deep breaths here. And bring your hands down to the ground slowly. Walk your hands up towards your torso. Slowly lift your body. And if you have a pillow, do you have a pillow, Mary? We're going to bring that just behind our heads. And with our feet still together, we're just going to walk our hands back and keep those feet together. We're going to come into a recline, recline bound angle or a modification of it. Check in once you're on the ground with that lower spine, your sacrum. Try and get it towards the mat. Tilt your hips ever so slightly. Try and push together on those feet, even your toes if you can. Match everything up like a mirror. Use your core. Check in with that sacrum. Try 
You can bring your arms overhead. If you'd like. You can have your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your belly. Feel your breath. We're going to stay here for a few minutes and just relax. If you feel anything starting to knot up in your glutes or in your legs, just relax. Your shoulders. Find what is comfortable. Bring your focus back to that space between your eyes on your forehead. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Focus on your breath while you're here. Breathing in through your nose. Hold and your exhale twice as long as your inhale. Out through your mouth. Relax your shoulders. Check in with your hips. Relax your legs. On your next inhale, before you exhale, check in with your toes your feet. And slowly open your eyes, your arms down, if they're above your head. Bring your knees together. Go ahead and remove this pillow. We're just going to do some gentle figure four stretches for our legs. So before we do that, again, check in with your hips and your sacrum. You want that to be, if you can, flat to your mat. Then we're going to lift that right leg up, cross the ankle over your knee. You want your ankle to be below, I guess this should be hanging off your leg. I don't know how else to say that. You don't want it to be sitting on top by any means. You want this to be over. Again, check in with your hips and that lower back. And once you've got that on the mat, slowly lift up that left foot. You want to keep it flexed. Bring your arms through. And hold on to your hamstring here or if you can, onto your calf. 
You interlace those fingers around your shin. Make sure that you're not on your knee. And gently push with your, it's the muscular part of your forearm here, not your elbow, but this fleshy part of your arm right here. You're gently going to push against your thigh on the right leg. But check in and make sure that you're still ground down to the mat. Ever so slightly, that gentle, gentle push is helping to release your psoas, your piriformis, your low back. You'd like to rock gently back and forth. Mindful of your shoulders. Remember to breathe. Slowly, on your next exhale, bring your foot down to the mat. And release that right leg back down. Bring the left leg up. Your foot flexed, heel high. And slowly cross that over your right thigh. We're gonna bring our hands through our legs Feel that gentle stretch before we start to push with our arm. Your next exhale. Try. It might be you have to go back and interlace your fingers around your thigh instead of your shin if you're there. You want to allow your arm ever so slightly to push down on your thigh. There shouldn't be your elbow there. Once you're here, allow that stretch in your hip on the left side. Relax your shoulders. Slowly on your next exhale, release your hands. Let that foot drop down. Uncross that left leg. From here, we're just going to do a gentle twist. Your feet should both be on the floor with knees up. Bring your arms to either side of you and your knees up. And look to your left fingers and gently, with your knees still together, bring them down to the ground. If you're having trouble keeping them together, you can move them up towards this right arm, and sometimes that helps a little bit. You're going to twist and look over those left fingers.
Allow your torso to relax. Allow that gentle stretch in your spine. Relax your shoulders. your next inhale, bring your awareness back to your body and your hips. Slowly bring your feet down to the ground, walk them back to center. <clears throat> Check in with your arms and with your hips. Raise your knees again. What we do on the right side, we have to do on the left. Drop those knees down to the ground. And we're going to look towards those right fingertips. Relax your shoulders. Slowly open your eyes, bring your legs, your feet back to the ground, walk them back to center. <clears throat> once you've found your balance, once you have your hips level, Shoulders to the mat, and relaxed. Bring your feet up, and we're going to come into happy baby. So you want to bring your hands in the insides of your knees, and you want to grab the outside of your foot with your fingertips. So instead of being on the outside, pulling down, you want your, your arms, you want them to be on the insides of your knees, and then pull down. And once you're here, try and check in with that sacrum again. 
See if you can't get that flat to the mat before you pull down on the outsides of your feet, gently, just with your fingertips. You don't want your entire hand to be around your foot, just with your fingertips. Relax your shoulders while we're here. Relax your neck. Whenever you're ready, slowly release your feet to the mat. And walk them down. You come into Shavasana. <clears throat> Close your eyes and then bring those big toes together so that they kiss and let them fall to either side of your mat. Your hands can be wherever feels good. Put one hand, left hand on your heart, right hand on your chest. If you'd like, whatever feels good. Focus on your breath, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. If you can, again, envision that space between your eyebrows, the center of your forehead, the color blue, Tranquility, peace, the ocean. Be aware of what you actually allow yourself to see. Fear and worry of the future serves nothing in the present. Don't let those worries that aren't serving you any good Cloud your vision. Focus on your breath. Again, bring that awareness to that space between your eyes on your forehead. This is our third eye chakra, the area of it. And it's what we allow ourselves to see. And some people can be afraid of success, have difficulty visualizing or even remembering dreams. <laughs> Fear and worry of the future serves nothing in the present. So again, be aware of what you are actually allowing yourself to see.
slowly begin to move your toes. Slowly begin moving your fingers, ankles and wrists, knees and elbows. And when you're ready, slowly roll to your favorite side. And take your time whenever you're ready. You will meet an easy seated Once we're here, bring your hands so that they're open on your knees. Relax those shoulders. Close your eyes. And then, like, bring your arms overhead, palms together to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.